Good evening. I Rapstein with your Metal Market Wrap Up, and this wrap up is for Thursday, and we're here now at the 22nd of December, 2022, 620 p.m. Central Time. Before I go any further, again, I want to remind you, we have our sale. It's coming to an end now, and this is for our outside day course. You've got just a short period of time left to get it at the reduced price. Keep in the mind, back of your mind, this pattern is one that you see all the time on your charts. What do you do with it? I mean, it's probably one of the most common patterns on a chart. Most people don't know what to do. Some people think, ah, oh, that's a reversal. Other things, ah, oh, it's a pause in the market. I've seen so many different things. Well, I cover it and give you examples in stocks, futures, ETFs. Walk you through first with a PowerPoint explaining how it works. How does the setup take place? What happens if it follows through? What happens if it doesn't? Then I'm gonna give you access for 14 days to both my ETF and my futures market uh, subscriptions. Then I'm going to give you the charting software so you can match up exactly what I do with the examples and you can then sample it all. The value of these two is as much as the course. And that's free. So in essence, you're getting that for nothing if you think about it. How do you take advantage and find out a bit more? Just go to our website at www.irapstein.com under the word education or just click up here. It's that simple. Now, I don't know that I'll put out tomorrow evening for you any updates because we remember we're not going to be open until again Tuesday for all purposes. So I might just use the weekend, have a little fun do whatever over the Christmas holiday, but look for it no later than Saturday, all right? So let's go to the marketplace and understand what we have going on. First, a failure in the stock market. The market got today what it didn't want to see. It got jobless claims that are not falling enough. That is the problem. Now, when I say not falling, they're not rising enough is what I, I meant to say. They are, they are not rising enough is the big issue. The government wants to see jobs hurt. It's not getting it. You see that if people uh, get fired and they can't get a new job and they file for unemployment benefits. That's a problem. The second problem that the government continues to see is even in the third quarter data, it got revised the final number and it was stronger. That's not what the market wants. So, you know, I, I realize people like to say, oh, the Fed's going to blink at the uh, third quarter of next year, going into the last quarter of the year. Folks, that's folly. We don't know what the economy is going to look like six months from now or nine months from now. If you do, you're the richest guy. Place your bets right now. You know what's going on. You're done, right? Don't play that game. Play the game that the Fed will tell you each one of the meetings what they're going to do, and until the meeting after that, you play that game. That's the only way to do it. They've told you they're data dependent. That's what they're going to stay with. And right now, the economy is stronger than they wanted to see. If anything, they're emboldened to be even more aggressive for longer. That is the part that you have to understand. If we had an FOMC meeting coming up in January and the economic data we just got were the data, my prediction is that the Fed would go another 50 basis points right now. Now, in the metal markets, we've been rocking and rolling back and forth in here. In the copper market, let's start there. The big problem is China and the amount of COVID cases they have. I was reading Reuters, Bloomberg, CNBC today, and the, most of the predictions are that there's a million cases a day right now taking place with 5,000 people dying each day. That projection is expected to rise to between 3.7 million up to 4.2 million over the next couple of weeks as the, as the COVID spreads itself through the economy. That is not the situation that is made for expansion. If anything, it's the situation where people don't go to the factories, people don't go out to the restaurants, they don't do a lot of things. In Chicago, they're prepping us right now to go back to the mask mandate right after the first of the year for public places. Why? Because families are gonna be together all through Christmas, they'll spread the virus and we're picking up in the virus and the flu. So beware of that, use your head and think that out. You're now looking at the impact here of a couple of things. First, the cold weather. In Chicago, where I'm at, 
They canceled today 572 flights so far at O'Hare Airport alone, 270 some odd as I understand it at Midway. We did not get the big rain amount that they were looking for. My kitty wants to be on TV. We, um, we did not get the, the big snow amount that they were saying where I live in the city. I don't know that we have two or three inches of snow so far, but I'm not going to go out and shovel it just yet. The, without wind chill, we're four degrees. With the wind chill, we're 30 below zero. That's a little too cold for me. I'll stay in. I'm sorry if you're walking by my home, but I, I looked at all my neighbors. Nobody's gone out and shoveled. It's just too brutal. We'll have to wait for tomorrow when we get some sun. It's still going to be freezing tomorrow, uh, but it, it, you, know, you do what you got to do. All right. So let's look at the gold market. In the gold, even with these corrections, you're staying over the 18-week moving average of closes. The bias is certainly to the upside. When I look at the action, do you think that you've built sideways action here? I think you have, and I've mentioned that to you over and over. And with today's action, you now have lower highs and lower lows. There's the legacy of the lower and low. So you've turned the trend back down. What's really going on? You're fighting a battle between first, the 200 day average down to the 18. That is what's going on. And the Bollinger Bands up here stop the market. You didn't quite make it there. And if you drop much, you're probably going to find your support in the 1767 level if you can get that far. It wouldn't surprise me that you just spin your wheels a little bit right here. In momentum, it's turned down. So you have the classic case of a bear trend now. The bias is down. The trend is down. If you were to go short here at 1801, you'd have to have a stop the way I teach trading over the most recent high. It's way too much money to risk. I don't see anything to do on that. When I go to the gold-silver ratio, sort of bending a little bit again. So now the silver market holding in, not trending. We have a lower low, higher high pattern. The market is overbought. I don't see anything of interest there. I pointed out to you two days ago, and I took my arms here, and I said, you watch what's going to happen in the slow stochastic. And when I did that, and I, I can back up to it to, to, to prove my point. We were about here. And I'm watching the market, and I said, look, we've been just sitting on this market. If you can't move away from it, volatility comes out, and the Bollinger Bands narrow in. And when they narrow in, you take out the volatility, they'll start wrapping their arms around the market, which is just what they've done. And all of a sudden, even if you drop, you're already oversold. If you rally, you're into the 200-day average, you have more work to do. So this market's probably done for a while. That's right, probably the way to approach it. In the platinum market, it fell hard today, down to the Bollinger Band, boom. What do I teach you in my enhanced Bollinger Band course? First time you hit a Bollinger Band, you're not embedded. Pros take their money off the table, all of it. They don't cover part of the position. Then in the palladium market, we have lower highs, lower lows. You can see the momentum coming down in that market. Still looking bearish to me. In the dollar index, we have higher lows, higher highs. Look for the market to fight a battle at the 18-day average of closes. So you put this all together. You try to come up with a game plan. I'll cover some trade ideas for you in the financial markets in a minute. I'm I. Rapstein. Remember, you can move your cursor at any time up here to take advantage of the outside day course. Take advantage. You're going to pay more because I know you'll want it later. Take care.